As you probably already know, vitamin D is really important for being healthy, but recent evidence suggests it might also be really important for how much you weigh. In today's video, I'm going to go over a study that looks at how vitamin D supplementation affects people's weight. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time researcher with my PhD, and I share scientific studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And today I'm gonna to go over a study that is a really high quality study. It's randomized, double-blinded, placebo, so like the gold standard of study methods that looks at how supplementing vitamin D influences weight loss. And stick around to the end because I'm gonna talk about dosing and some other considerations if you wanna try this. And some other studies have found that vitamin D levels in your blood are inversely correlated with weight. So in general, the more someone weighs or the higher their BMI, the lower vitamin D they have in their blood. And the direction this goes isn't super clear. Some people think that it's being overweight that's causing you to not store vitamin D as well or deplete your vitamin D. Whereas other researchers think that it could be that being vitamin D deficient could actually cause people to gain weight. And this study is one example supporting that second possibility. And in this study, the researchers took 50 women and gave half of them a vitamin D supplement and the other half a placebo pill. And they looked at what happened to their weight over the course of six weeks. And they found that the women who took the vitamin D supplement lost 3.5 pounds on average, whereas the women who did not take the vitamin D supplement actually gained a pound. And that vitamin D group also lost 0.6 BMI points, just put that weight into more of a scale that could apply to you. So that's about a half pound of weight loss a week just from adding a supplement to their diet. And that's actually on par with a lot of standard weight loss diets, like people who restrict their calories often aim for half a pound a week. So that's pretty cool, I would say. But it might depend on where you start. So these women were vitamin D insufficient or very slightly deficient. And so supplementing vitamin D helps them lose weight. So it seems like supplementing vitamin D is most likely to help you if you are deficient or insufficient in vitamin D, which makes sense. But 40% of the US population is vitamin D deficient, according to recent studies. So it's probably worth heading to your doctor to get tested for vitamin D deficiency, especially if you're having trouble losing weight, or if you're fatigued, or your mood is low, or you have brain fog or bone pain is another one. And in fact, I wonder if vitamin D insufficiency causing weight gain could explain why people tend to gain weight over the winter in part. Obviously there's also comfort eating and eating to be warm and not wearing tight clothes, <laughs> but I wonder if one reason is also low vitamin D. So the best way generally to get vitamin D is to get significant skin exposure to the sun, especially in the summer. So one way to do that when you have enough UV so generally not in the winter, is to just go outside with exposed legs for 15 to 20 minutes a day. Usually that'll get you enough vitamin D. But if you have darker skin or you live in northern latitudes, then there's a good chance that you'll need to supplement to keep your levels up. So I recommend no more than 2,000 IUs per day. It's dangerous to have too much vitamin D. You can actually overdose and it's toxic and cause all sorts of bad stuff. So definitely do not overdose. And I recommend going to your doctor regardless to get your levels tested because there's no point in spending money on vitamin D supplements if your vitamin D is fine. But other sources of vitamin D include fortified milks like soy milk, almond milk, any type of plant-based milk that has vitamin D added, and mushrooms sometimes, but you can't really rely on them. I'm actually going to make another video about that, I think. I hope you found this study as interesting as I did. There's not a ton of studies on this, so it's not super cut and dry or anything but definitely worth getting your blood work done, getting tested for vitamin D deficiency, and you might see some weight loss as a result of correcting any deficiencies. So let me know what you think, and please like, share, and subscribe if you wanna help get this information out there. And thanks so much for watching.